What's up guys, you're back here with Woods to Water Day and I just wanted to talk to you guys about some uh, target bucks for this year and um, some calling tips. But first we'll get to the target bucks. This year my first target buck, my number one target buck, I have not got on camera yet. We call him Mongo is his nickname. He, we saw him last year and he is closest I have had him is 50 yards. My brother had him at 20 but couldn't get a shot. But it's super big deer. Um, but my second one, um, he, it's, his name's Double Split, and he actually is about a couple miles away from us now. But real nice deer. I'll show you guys him right now. So yeah, he's a nice buck, um, but definitely second on the list. Not as big as Mongo. But my third target buck is um, stickers. We call buck stickers. I have not seen him even close recently. He's pretty darn close. He's our neighbors next to him, but they haven't seen him either in a while. So I don't know where he went, but hopefully he sticks around. If he comes by, I am going to take him. I'll show you guys that picture right now. Alright, number two guys, um, my, about the calling tips now, I use the extinguisher, quick easy flip to buck, doe, and fawn, I don't use, really use the fawn much, but I use the doe and buck quite a bit, I actually you, you, um, learned a couple of calls, I like to, for a younger buck, you can slide it all the way down, and then pick it up just above the buck, and I just, it's called the con contact grunt, and it's just, it's looking, it's a buck looking for the doe. So in the grunt, it's a really good call to start off with. <coughs> kind of point it, you can see I point it in di different directions. Um, that's for looking for a, a buck or a doe, and then sometimes the buck comes running in a lot of the times. Um, I like to rattle quite a bit too. I do a couple of these and then a rattle and then sometimes like a buck chasing a doe I do a couple of doe when a buck's not responding to those contact joints and you can see him in the distance and he's a buck you want to get closer to see if he's a shooter or not you can if he's not looking for a fight or anything you can slide up to the doe and see if he's looking for love. <coughs> And I've watched a couple of videos and they hit that doe grunt and they come running right in. So those are my main two calls. Otherwise, if there's a huge buck, this is a breeding grunt. Slide it down to the buck. It gets short, start off covering and then I get long with it. And that's a breeding grunt. And then this is a croaker grunt. A croaker grunt is a buck looking for a fight. He's saying he's the top man. He's the biggest buck. And if you got a big buck out there, huge buck, this is the grunt that you're going to want to do if you want to get that buck in close. Now you can see there, instead of like a breeding grunt, going slow to long and stopping, I went slow to long to back down to slow. And that is a great call to get, it's called the croaker grunt. It gets, it's a super long grunt that you're challenging a buck. And that's for a really big buck. Um, another breeding grunt for a little buck, you can just for a little buck those are that breeding grunt was kind of for bigger bucks but this is for a smaller buck it's just can be three seconds that's a little breeding grunt for a little buck there um i wouldn't use the croaker grunt on little bucks as much anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for today's video um like i said just Here's a few trail camera pics I got. I'll show you after this uh, little clip, but haven't seen very many 
big box just some little box on the trail cameras and some does but um please hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit the mo notification bell